welcome to TSC Fridays, another episode. And today we're doing um, a scenario on Dresden Riser. So, yeah, uh, we're going to be driving a BR 189, and on this on this day you take this freight train to Riser. I don't know what, exactly where we are. Please wait for the green signal. You will be overtaken by a regional express train. So, yes. Finally, another. Oh, we're probably raining as well, by the looks of it. Let's get the old wipers going. And we need to get the lights on, which I think they are. Look. Nope. Um, there we go. Well, is that it? That's the only bit of the horn they have. Oh, okay, fine, interesting. Right. So we are looking, uh, waiting for another thing, and our freight train, basically, it's slightly different, obviously, to the train to world version of. Um, I wouldn't even know where we are, to be honest. Let's have a look where we are on the map. Uh, center player. Ah, so we're here. Oh, okay. Ah, right, got it. I don't know where we are now. Wow. Okay, that's cool. So, if you actually also hear this echoing on the video, there is no idea. There's like I'm in a, in a hallway or something like that. There's no idea. I've got no clue why it does it. I check my sound settings and yeah, I'm none the wiser, as they say. So we're currently waiting for the road. Not one with the road, but waiting for the road. So we're going to set our train up here. Why? Both the. That's interesting. And so we're on a mixed freight by the looks of it. Set that up there. So we shall. Slap her in the first fault. Brakes are slightly on. So, if any of you know that Rise of Dresden, I actually bought this on from I, it was Matt and Nat were doing a, a, a release stream on it. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, for Train Sim Classic, and it was so because Matt just. Networked a couple of stations in the BR 101, but I thought it looked really, really good. Right, we got the light to go, I believe, which is that one there, that says. And um, yeah, it was so funny. Um, so I, I went and actually bought it, and then when I played it, I just thought, wow, we can really do with this for um, uh, Tracing World. And lo and behold, same week it came out. Well, not the same week. That year it came out. We're part of the rush hour um, thing. So we've got to stop in Rise of Yard 01. Six mile an hour limit. I like the look of this BR 189. Estimated time of arrival is 13, 14 minutes. Well, our limit will be 120 because that's as far as it goes, but I've got to keep an eye on the signals.
or just getting shot from the thumbnail. So, yeah, it'd be nice actually if we could have the BR-189 in the trading world, but as well. Very funny feeling we might get a notification come up. We hit Y big. Stuff as well, which is pretty cool. It's a 442? Yeah. Which I quite like the 442s. I didn't like them at first when obviously we got the game for Rapid Transit, or when we got, got them in the thingy for Rapid Transit, I didn't like them. But since they've done all the speed. Since they did the um, other 442s have appeared and other routes on Transit World, <laughs> oh, excuse me, I quite enjoyed them to be honest. Uh, Laubix Platform 2 is the station that we're going to go through next. I'm kind of hoping we haven't got to stop.
Seven kilometers for the riser. Junction is next. That's literally where some of the freight services will come from as well. Due in the rise zone about seventeen eighty three. where signalling will get a little bit interesting I've got to pay attention to it and the speed as well Outside riser now, about a kilometre. That's a one oh one in there, look. Yeah, one eight nine would be nice, but other than that, Oh, it started raining again. Oh, there's a surprise. Something 
just before the signal. Right, well if you have enjoyed this, this will be it. If you have enjoyed this, give us a shout and um or oh, give us a like, sorry, and um hit the subscribe button. That's it for a uh, uh quick um um train stream classics Friday, so uh, or TSC Friday. So yeah guys, thank you all very much. Oh what what we get done for? Bit of speeding, bit of speeding. But while we're here, you know, make it about twenty minutes long. Um same menu. Um, basically, uh, just go to drive. Um, oh yeah, right career. So literally, what I want to do is go through all the routes. That's a new one for me, Boston Albany. I've not really had a go, which I really need to. Um, and then basically, we'll just literally go through every single one. On, on stuff and everything and uh, yeah I mean 40 minutes some of them are up to an hour and 20 so it could be a um, you know a, a fair bit of um, Boston and Albany so you know there's a fair amount of stuff here um, to do so it will keep us all busy for the next few weeks and that so there'll be there'll be services that will be happening um, Chatham, Maine, Midway so there's a fair amount of stuff there are some stuff that we won't have I won't be able to do them because I'm not going out buying all the stuff which you know some I do have some I don't have um, so yeah um, it's just I think these ones I don't know they might have some of these actually I don't think they're they're not AP so we might be able to do those so yeah these are services yeah so we can do those um and I, I don't know if there's standard ones for that as well chat and medway uh also powerhouse look and there's a 325 as well so which is normal but they're armstrong powerhouse ones so i can't use those because it, it will turn around and say i don't have the necessary stuff so this is a literally you're going to see a literally list of Routes that I currently have for Train Sim Classic, which we currently have Bud Tracker Riser Dresden, Boston and Albany, Boston Springfield, Cajon Pass, Castle Rock Railroad, Chatham Main and Medway Valley Lines, Chatham Main Line, Chatham Main Line, London Victoria to Dover and Ramsgate, Clinchfield Railroad, Elkhorn City to St. Paul, East Coast Main Line. East Coast Main Line, London to Peterborough. So that was the old East Coast Main Line, that first one on the other page. Five Circle Line, Frankfurt High Speed, Great Western Main Line, Hedra North, uh, Horseshoe Curve, Colton to Coblenz, Mediterranean, Lee, well, GV Rhone out to Mediterranean, Lyon to um, Marseille. That's a new one which we got free. London Faversham High Speed. Um, hmm, looks familiar. Uh, then we've got London to Brighton, Mannheim to Karlsruhe. Marais Pass, Marseille Avignon, uh, um, Kiel de Lubeck, uh, Peng Nitzelbahn, Portsmouth Direct Line, that's the first one. Then we got the Portsmouth Direct, Waterloo to Portsmouth Direct, the full run. Rio Grande, Rio Grande Southern, which I think is, is it a narrow gauge one? I think. 
I think it's a narrow, that's a narrow gauge route, I think, I'm not sure. Um, then we also have Riviera line in the 50s. I wouldn't be surprised if we see that come to Train Sim World, to be honest. Not replayed it. Rursig line, which is basically Rursig Nord. Um, the longer version, which basically is the same. It's a shortened version of this, which appears in Train Sim World. It goes from Hagen to Finantrop, but here it goes all the way out to Sea. Is it Seagen? I think it is. Then you've got Seabergard. Seaber. Seaberg Barn. Uh, I've got Settler Carlisle, Sherman Hill, Soldier Summit, Helper to Salt Lake Simmer, City, uh, Soldier Summit, Provo to Helper, Somerset Dorset Joint Railway, Southwestern Mainline, Southampton to Bournemouth. Yeah, I'm sure I'd love to see that in Trains and World. Also, like, extending from Eastleigh to Pool. Who knows? Who knows? If they can add an extra few miles on either end of South Eastern High Speed, they can do it to this. Um, and then basically I've also got Suburban Glasgow, uh, Northwest Springburn to Helmsburg, Suburban Glasgow, Northwest to Airdrie, Tear Chappie Pass, which is an awesome route, the Isle of Wight, Tokyo Commuter, Kine, I've not played this and I really do need to, West Coast Mainline North, West Coast Mainline over Shap and West Coast Mainline South. And as for locos and everything, well... This is what we do have. 040 Saddle Tank, Class 305, ICETD, which is a diesel unit, A4 Union of South Africa, AC4 400CW, Alco FA1 NYC, Alco HH6BNA, Alco PA NYC, Alco RS3 NYC. So, yeah, there's a fair amount of, of uh, BR Class 266, which is an MRC 66, basically. Um, there's a fair amount of locos that I do have, and I really should be playing with them. I really should. 09 here as well, so yeah. 158, a few 158s. Uh, 166, 170, 320. 321 for a third class. Oh, you can't be a class 33. Oh no. You cannot be a class 33. 33 is awesome. Um, 365. 37s, H, uh, APT, 375s, 2 lots, 3 lots, 4 lots, 377, 377, uh, Pendolino, yeah, I got a lot of stuff, so the stuff that I bought from um, Thingy, 442s, 444s, don't understand why, okay, Interesting. Might have to have a look at those at some point. Uh, 465, 47. Those are 47s. Uh, GL, not GLV. Deltic. Oh, you've got to have Deltics. 56s. Oh, you've got to love 56s. Defender Freight, 57s. 58s. 59s. These are old models. These are the 58s, 66s. Not a lot of these have been updated. 801, which is basically the thing that you got free with the game version of Train Sim, whatever it was. 86, 86, 87s, 89, 92, the best ones. No 90 though, I really don't have a 90, so I really should think about that in the cell. 151s, 189, BR648, BR101. Um, what else? Then a lot more of the German locos. Oh, BO2, BR218, nice. Uh, these are the Japanese ones, the E233, 1000 EMU, and 3000 EMUs. Um, not even played them. EMD stuff. Uh, more EMD. SD40s, GP9s, GP7s, F7s, GP40s. Um, Union, Pacific, oh, Union Pacific Railroad F7. Lovely. Sorry if I'm frothing at the mouth here. More German stuff. More American stuff. EMD switcher. Flying Scotsman. Yes, I've got the flying money pit as well. I bought it. Oh well. Ice 3 GWI Pannier tank. So, yeah, there's some the old Class 460 Gatwick Express. Um, yeah, there's some really decent stuff. Ralph, I've done no idea what that is. First Coast Mainline 350. I thought there was a 345 that we could use as well. 8,000 HP gas turbine. That thing is crazy. That is awesome, though, that. So, over the next few months, 
we'll be playing some of these so yeah anyway guys that's going to be it for today um so you know we, we could be doing quick drives and then we're going to also be carrying on doing the routes and everything so yeah but yeah thank you all very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it it's only a quick one on this this episode so hopefully i'll see you in the next one um thank you all very much and um goodbye oh i'm sorry did i break your concentration <laughs>